This bill is a statement about not only where we are today, but it's a statement about where we need to be in the future. The reality is today, we all know, we are living with very difficult budget circumstances, not just in Washington, but at every city, state, and town throughout America. We all need to be able to do more with less. The reality is also that reliable modern infrastructure isn't a luxury. It's the lifeblood of our economy. Democrats and Republicans, business and labor, are united to support the establishment of an American infrastructure bank in the United States in order to leverage investment and once again make America the world's builders, building roads and bridges, highways and rail, creating millions of jobs, increasing our long-term economic competitiveness, and closing another deficit, a different deficit, the deficit in America's infrastructure investments. The BUILD Act will create a new American infrastructure bank to leverage private capital with public funds in the form of loans and loan guarantees to help bridge the infrastructure deficit that has been plaguing our nation for decades. This bank can be much better than we even think now because there's capital all over the world looking for things to get a mandatory return. The bank will invest in transportation, water, and energy infrastructure, and it will do all these things in urban, suburban, and rural America. That's what this is all about. We know that this is an age of global competition. If we don't act, if we just stand still, we're not just going to fall behind temporarily. We're going to fall and stay behind. That's not a future that any of us here, and I think most of our colleagues, are willing to accept. And that's why we're joining with all of the people here today. We're united because we believe that America is great because we have the ability to do great things, and this is our opportunity to do that again. We are builders. It's part of our DNA. Whether through the Depression or a recession, through surplus, through deficit, we know how to build in this country. Look at the 20th century. It was an American century, a century that in its earliest days saw us build the Panama Canal, a century in which we rebuilt Europe after World War II, a century during which we built an interstate highway system of over 46,000, uh, almost 47,000 miles. Uh, it is a century in which we leaped into space and a century in which we wired the entire planet for communications and commerce. That was the story of the 20th century. We're here now to try to write the story of the 21st century, and we want it to be an American story. I appreciate the bipartisanship and also uh, the fact that uh, the Chamber of Commerce and Labor are in support of this bill. Uh, we think it is essential to think outside the box now because we know we have a fiscal crisis and we've got to be creative to meet the needs of our country, to have economic uh, development, to create jobs, uh, but in a way that doesn't diminish our taxpayer funds. An infrastructure which used to be a competitive advantage for our country has now turned into a competitive disadvantage in terms of business locations in a global marketplace. I know Tom Donahue is going to talk for a minute about probably about going to China later and how that China is in many ways leapfrogging ahead of us. Um, and in a world where we have to compete on a global basis, this tool will provide the kind of long-term patient capital that's necessary. Senator Kerry and others mentioned that our, our nation's infrastructure is in bad repair. Actually, the civil engineers in this country give it a D, not even a gentleman's C, and that's a real problem. Getting this bank up and running will be another piece of the puzzle in our economic recovery. It can help people get back to work. It can help repair our crumbling structure, and it'll reach, uh, help reach the shared goal of a better future for our country and all of its citizens. We have a choice. We can either build and compete and create jobs for our people, or we can fold up and let everybody else win. I don't think that's America. I don't believe anybody wants to do that. 